Wednesday, the 25th of April, coming up tonight. Pilots and aircraft passengers have confirmed sightings of a large... Oni, Oni Bar Tour de Britannia gets off to a flying start. And singled out, Hospice plays matchmaker on the sands. Thanks for joining us. Pilots and aircraft passengers have confirmed sightings of a large unidentified flying object off the coast of Guernsey. The mysterious shapes were spotted earlier in the week uh, and are described as a long motionless object that measured up to a mile wide. Yes, radar screens confirm the presence of the UFOs and pilot witnesses are now preparing reports for the relevant authorities. Nick Waite has this report. On Monday afternoon, Captain Ray Bowyer was piloting a routine passenger flight from Southampton to Alderney. But to his and the passengers' surprise, a strange object became visible on the horizon. You've been a professional pilot for 20 years. You've flown thousands of flights. You're putting your reputation on the line here, so you must truly believe what you saw was, was very real. In my years of experience, I've never seen anything like this. And frankly, uh, I'd be perfectly happy not to ever again. It's a pretty uh, chilling thing. And from my first sighting of it, uh, which was initially 50, um, maybe around 50 miles away, perhaps 40 miles away from the actual object, it appeared to be fairly small, but it must have been pretty huge. It must have been very, very much larger than I thought it was originally. I told air traffic control that they asked me for a size approximately. I said about the size of a 737, perhaps twice the size. Uh, but in reflection, seeing this object from about 40 miles away, it must have been very, very much bigger than that. Perhaps maybe a mile across, perhaps. Were you scared? I wasn't too happy, put it that way. I was quite glad to get on the ground and have a cup of tea. So this appeared as a solid object. Us using this pad, could you actually draw for me what you sure. saw? Well, um, getting close to it, uh, through the binoculars, I could see a sort of a, a shape very much like this, extremely pointed, very long and thin, and uh, it should be slightly thinner than that, but th this area, about two-thirds of the way along the fuselage, was, was pretty dark. Uh, this was very brilliant yellow, very golden yellow, and very dark in this area. Now what's particularly interesting about this case is that not only did you see it, but your passengers saw it, and indeed radar picked it up. Can you tell me about that? Uh, as I understand it, there was a plot uh, taken on the Jersey radar um, to be a couple of miles south of uh, the Cascades Lighthouse um, and another aircraft also flying in the vicinity uh, from the Isle of Man into Guernsey, I believe, saw a similar sort of thing. Would you mind showing us on, on a chart exactly your course and where you saw these, these, these two UFOs? No problem at all. The position of the, the first one would have been about here, just south of the Casquettes, which is according to radar. And the position of the second one in relation to that one was probably around here somewhere, very close to Guernsey, I would have imagined. Jersey Air Traffic Control confirmed their radar picked up some activity in the area, but say the data can't be taken as evidence of a UFO's presence. Remarkable. Well, have you ever seen a UFO or did you get any photos of the latest sighting? If you did, go to our website, channelonline.tv and click on the UFO.